Welcome back, everybody, to The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I think you were going to talk about something, but we ran out of time in part one. Right. So the thing that Ocarina of Time did that really pulls from this is they did the concept of the three things to get before you get to the Master Sword, and then you go into the dark world or dark future, depending on the game. Also, we have to talk to Sa Sahalasa or whatever the fuck his name is. Old guy! Old guy number one! Yes. Who am I? Ah, yes, the Gives you the Pegasus shoes. Pegasus shoes as prize for defeating the first dungeon. Which, I think those only ever showed up again in uh, Four Swords. Link's Awakening. Wait, were they in that? Okay. I'm pretty sure they were in Link's Awakening. I don't know, I've, ne I've never played any of the Game Boy Co titles. Like, for more than... Well, I do plan on uh, playing some of the Game Boy... At least some of the Game Boy titles for this channel, so... Oops, you'll get a chance to see them! Yay! In, like, 2015, when I finally decide to fucking do it. <laughs> ah, you piece of shit. <laughs> Sniper Octorok. Banks' boots! Whole day, you just travel fast. Yep. It's a great way to get from point A to point B. Yep. Better th it's almost better than a horse. But not quite. Although, a horse in a world map that's this small would be kind of unnecessary. I love how you can outrun arrows with the Pegasus boots. Yes. They're that good. You can outrun pr pretty much any projectile attack. Right, time to head to the village. It's also the uh, first appearance of Kakariko what we would know village. as Kakariko Village. Here there have is been a... uh, there have been villages in previous games, like you went to villages and towns in Zelda Two. But none of them were Kakariko. At least I don't think. I've played Zelda 2. Well, wait, you, you can get all four chests at once? Yep. I never figured that out. Well, you are bad at puzzle solving, then. I am bad at puzzle solving. Unless it's, like, really fucking esoteric, and then I get it right away. <laughs> this is also another Zelda game that just throws money at you. Yeah. So we just got our first heart piece. Yay! There are 24 in the game. Nah. So how about that shit? That's like a third also, of the that, amount uh, that, uh, that, that place right there totally won't come back to bite us. What are you talking about? Yeah. So yeah, this, the aesthetic for Kakariko Village tends to be a... A... I don't want to say, like, poor, but, like, like, the outskirts of a city. A, a village, a village. So, yeah, so pretty much life. where I live. Yeah. Look at that second heart piece already. And it, it's, you know, it has that kind of Arthurian England aesthetic, except for Twilight Princess, of course. Well... At, at the very least, I know in the French translation of this game, the Master Sword was called Excalibur. Yeah. Well, yeah, because th that's what, uh... At least starting with this game, that's what they were referencing, was Arthurian legend. So, we got our first bottle. Yeah, bottles. Oh, yeah, this one introduced bottles, didn't it? Yes. And uh, we're gonna go in here... Between uh, this and, game and Ocarina uh, of Time... you know, we're gonna get our second fucking bottle. <laughs> Between this game and Ocarina of Time, they cut out the uh, bug catching net. And yep. replaced it with the uh, fishing pole. Speaking of the bug catching net, here it is. Evil air coming down from the mountain. 
Okay. This also expanded upon uh, uh, Adventure of Link in that while there's NPCs, they are also uh, they're they're less generic. Although nothing will beat I am error. But every things in this game are explained more too. Yeah. Doorways and stairs will only help you so long, Link. For so long, Link. Yeah. This Obviously. is basically just a room with a bunch of goodies if you want to restock on shit. And all it costs you is one bomb. This this also kind of graphically introduced the concept of floating down, of hearts floating down when you cut them from grass or whatnot. Or, in fact, anything floating down from the air. Yeah. Right. Time to get what we actually came here for. The Book of Mudora! Mudora. That's a, that sounds like a Zelda boss. Doesn't it? That we actually need to get into the second dungeon. Right. To quote Psychedelic Eyeball, time to solve a domestic dispute by using explosives. Ah, Psychedelic Eyeball. He will be missed. He's not dead, you piece <laughs> of shit. Right, so I'm getting this thing here where you have to go through, you have to find the right way and go through this course in less than 15 seconds. You do not need the Pegasus, the Pegasus shoes to do this. They just make it easier. The Pegasus shit shoes. The, 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 the Pegasus shit pieces of shit. I would have laughed if you had accidentally fallen, fallen off that ledge. <laughs> Mainly because I do that all the time. I'm terrible at controlling this game. Terror bad. Terror bad. The fuck out of my way! Out of my way, jerk ass! Pretty much. Ah, oh, Bender. Truly a role model for all ages. I think Homer Simpson actually once said that too. Oh yeah, this is also introduced Link having a house and, like, residence. As opposed to just being some guy who showed up one day. I was like, yeah. <laughs> right. I don't really need to do this here, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna s see if I can remember the, uh, all the great fairy fountain locations. Because they're all over. They this are also all over the fucking joint. This also introduced the great fairies, didn't it? Uh, yes. Because the first one had fairy fountains, but they weren't great fairy fountains. Right. Man, damn Okay, Octorok. now we're going to uh, make a little bit of a detour. First stop is here. Alright, these things. This, uh, these things are kind of a preview of the third dungeon of the game. Oh, I didn't know you could cross over. And you don't fucking need arrows. Holy shit. You just have to get to the very bottom or the very top of the room. And there you go. I never knew that. It's a secret to everybody. <laughs> hey, I'm just gonna take all More your stuff. Arrows. So, I have a bunch of rupees now, which is good because we're gonna need to make a really hefty purchase soon. I am, of course, talking about these Zora flippers, which cost 500 rupees. Yep. These crabs. Right here, whatever the fuck their names are, are actually kind of dangerous at this stage in the game because they take away two hearts. Yeah. Oh, this also this game also introduced chews. Yes. Um, 
Except choosing this one uh, hurt you if you just straight up attack them. You gotta yes. stun them first. Or you can and just shoot them with an arrow. Yeah. There are ones that hurt you if you attack them, but only during certain times in other games that they show up, such as Wind Waker. Right. Here's what we actually made this huge detour for. Caves of ice! And we get the ice rod! Oh, goody. Which is good, because the, the ice rod actually makes the boss of the second dungeon a little bit more tolerable. Yeah. Grant, uh, granted, that is if you can aim the fucking thing properly. Which can be a bit of a pain, because it's kind of delayed a little bit. And I figure, catch a couple fairies here, just in case. You never know what can go wrong in an LP. Go back no. here, you piece of shit. There you go. Nope. Oh, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I went down to set it free. This is the best speed run ever. Yeah. We're only two parts in and... Oh, God! See? Two hearts. That thing just fucking hunted you down. Right, I don't want to dash here because those fucking things. You can just take them out with arrows. That is if you can aim it properly. Also, this just oh, marks the return of, of the classic style of Zoras in that they pop up from the water and shoot you. Fuck you, you crab. <laughs> that crab is now deceased. I'm sighing because I watched a... Uh, six-player race where they did this game and made that exact same joke at least oh, three times. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here you thought you were being original. I never... No, I didn't think I was going to be original. I was just making the joke. I'm sure everywhere crabs show up, deceased crab is referenced. Either that or giant Take enemy that crab. Take that statement as you will. Either that or giant enemy crab. Yeah. Does anybody even remember Sony's E3 press conference from 2006 anymore? No. I mean, this is just a social commentary, but whatever. That was our fourth piece of hearts, so uh, we're up to six hearts. I still don't understand how a floodgate underwater created a pond like that. But whatevs! It's a Super Nintendo game. You just roll with that kind of logic. Yeah. And here we have the first desert. Like, the like true desert. True desert. With all the cows walking in a line. Mm hmm. It's... It used to be a ranch, but that's from... That's from the Great Cow Famine of... 1222 or something. Hey dude, I'm just gonna bomb this wall here. Hope you don't mind. Hey, just gonna break break into your house, break into your wall, steal the chunk of heart that you have buried in there and be on my way. That's five pieces of heart already. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a game where you can get a lot of stuff early. Yep. Something that really wasn't repeated until uh, Majora's Mask. Yep. Right, you need to get out the Book of Mudora. Because if you don't have that, if you don't use it there, you you just read the runes, you don't understand them. It's, uh, in this version, it's a bunch of gibberish. In the Japanese version, I think they're Egyptian symbols or something. Yeah, probably. 
Anyway, welcome to Desert Palace. AKA probably. Fuck You Bemos. This is probably the most freeform dungeon of the game. You can easily complete this thing in like six minutes. There's really I didn't because I was a dumbass. There's really not a set path. Right, Unlike. take this key, get, run into the Beamos. Most <laughs> effective speedrunning tactic ever. Did this introduce Beamos as well? Uh, I don't remember them in the other games. I think it did. So. This was a very influential game in the series. Yes. We will keep mentioning examples of that. That why exemplify not? the thing. We take this key, go over here. You kill the three enemies in here, and of course run into one, because I'm a dumbass. I'm like, you know, ah, fuck it, get the compass. The map is actually in the northern part of this, uh, of that big room we were in. Like, if you take one of the two central northern door place things. But well, fuck that. That door up there is a trap. So you can either go in there or in there and you can get your map. Because they well, lead to the same room. We don't need no map. Nope. I know what <laughs> I'm doing. At least I think I know what I'm doing. This is an interesting dungeon in that it sends you outside of the dungeon at one point. Yes. We're gonna see that soon. Not just yet, though, because I still have to figure out of like, wait, that's not how we do this. And then I'm just they're, like, wait a second, this is not where you. the big key is. Back here, back here is uh, in Dungeon Fairy Spring, so which is nice. I if you need one, there it is. Also, I completely walked over the top of the Bemo sprite. Nice. And did not take damage. That was interesting. Pro strats. I don't know if I would call it pro. Dumb luck is what I would call that. Right. Now At we the have the po power glove. It's I so bad. Damn it. I was going to make that joke. You piece <laughs> of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just stealing everybody's jokes tonight. Also, I somehow have managed to avoid getting hit there. Ah, uh, screen transitions. Yes, screen transitions will save your life, literally. So obviously, the power the power glove was released before this game, correct? Yes. So they had to have been referencing that at least. Also, a bit. piece of heart number six. Jeez. We're already- we already have a quarter of the pieces of heart in this game. <laughs> That's awesome. And we got them all in this one video. Man, eight- eight rocks. Yes, the eight rocks. You the pick Legend up and throw Zelda. the gray eight rocks. The Legend of Zelda eight rocks. Also, goddamn these floor tiles. Did they have the flying floor tiles in the uh, previous title in the previous games? Don't think so. So I know that's been carried on into uh, at least Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker. I don't quite. And then there's Twilight been Princess annoying variations of floor tiles in other games, such as the worms in Twilight Princess. Those pieces of shit. Ah, uh, yes, the solid snake portion of the game. Ow. Seriously, well, you can get sniped from like halfway across the uh, room. Yep. Like, oh, here's where the key is in this corner. Now, I always thought that this was an interesting uh, design choice that I kind of wish they had continued. Right. I'm just looking for health. That'll do. Ah, uh, uh, three and a half stars. That's good. Stars? Or hearts. I don't know. It's like nine o'clock. I'm tired. 
Right, this will lead us to the boss. Finally. The ice it's, rod here. It's been 20 minutes. Well, we've only spent six of them in this fucking dungeon. Right, these things. Yes, now, these things are annoying as fuck. You'll notice snake-like things in Super Nintendo games mostly consist of a series of balls. You see this with uh, you see this with Botwoon in uh, Super Metroid. Yeah, and that's because it is a lot easier to just have a series of sprites following each other than it is to have a one continuous sprite like that with fluid motion. Also, you totally saw how fast I killed one of these things by using the ice rod. Yeah, that's definitely a lot easier than. Uh, yes. However, you, you kind of have to aim it properly, and it uses a shit ton of magic. Also, your dodge is That's another heart. thing this, uh, that, uh... Half a heart. Yep, I'm down to half a heart. I got two fairies on me, so if, if, if I do take another hit here, I'll be fine. Right now, you're functionally immortal. Yes. Another uh, another thing that uh, this uh, this takes the uh, magic meter from uh, Zelda think, Two. Yeah, it makes it more mainstream. Yeah, use it a lot more. Yeah, as opposed to puzzle solving. Well, yeah, they uh, they fuck the, they. If you're looking at this from uh, looking at. Uh, successors, they fucked up the colors on this one. This one is apparently the pen of power, but anyway. More discussion on that in part three, apparently. Woo.